They were only to the elbow earlier. Right? How long have you been working on this work? This one specifically? Yeah. Uh, I'm nearing the 20 hour mark right now. I did about four hours of drawing at home on the paper. That's in colored pencil, this way it doesn't smudge. Right. Brought it to the show and did about six to seven hours the first day, another eight today. So you're you're nearing right around 20 hours right now. Wow. It looks amazing. They all, they all average about 25 to 30, so it seems to be right on pace. Okay. Good stuff. It looks amazing. Kill my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, a lot of shows, these will open up and bleed. Oh, wow. Uh, by the last day, by the third day. It's Just drying out so much? Yeah. yeah. It dries out and then the abrasiveness. If I build up a callus, if I do a lot of shows in a season, by the end of the year, I don't feel it at all. Uh, but I, I haven't done as many in the past couple weeks, so I think they're uh, they're going to be rough tomorrow. Ooh. Yeah, that's hope everything's okay. I, I, I bleed for my art, man. Yeah. Bleed for it. The best bleed finger for painter it. I know. Ooh. Yeah, it's amazing. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It's patience more than anything. I tell anybody, doing a piece like this, to me, is about 15 to 20 percent artistic ability and 80 percent patience. Right. Just being able to sit in the same place for 30 hours while a show goes on around you and you know be able to just focus. Right. That's a huge chunk of getting it. You need people like me who break your focus and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty start much. I, I hate those people. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. Uh, that's why I'm here. It's it's why companies like Nintendo bring me to the show. It's not just to do the piece, but it's you know to talk, to meet the artist, and to watch it being made while it's done. That's that's the art of it. I mean, there's fantastic art all over this show. Yeah. But in a lot of places, it's a printed banner or printed material. And right. People, people appreciate it and like it. But when you see it being made. Oh the yeah. To slow down and pay a lot more attention to the details. Right. And that's what we're celebrating here, just the art that goes into games. Which yeah. I think is some of the most amazing art you can see out there. The art they're doing for game work is incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. How long have you been doing this kind of stuff before? About right. six years. Um, I started off doing outdoor street festivals and then okay. started doing conventions, mostly comic book work, which is why most of my pieces around here are comic book related. Okay. And then video game companies started noticing me and it's gotten to the point where movie companies are even doing it. Lucasfilm just had me do a piece for Star Wars Celebration 5 in Orlando just three weeks ago. Wow. And just earlier this week, Wednesday and Thursday before I came to this show, I did a piece for ESPN in Connecticut. Oh, so nice. I just finished that up on Wednesday. Flew Wednesday cross country to get here late Wednesday, or sorry, finished it up on Thursday. Flew cross country Thursday night, got here to start this Friday morning. So wow. it's, been a, it's been a busy week. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know everybody here appreciates what you're doing. I hope so. And yes. let Nintendo know because they're the ones who brought me and they, they had the appreciation of art like this to let me do this for them. So I thank them most of all. Alright, well I thank them too. This is awesome. Thank, and thank you for coming and like, having this appreciation. Yeah, I love it man. I just love that people yeah. enjoy it. I've had a lot of people commenting on the one I did last year. I did yeah. Bioshock 2 last year. Nice. had a ton of people who have seen it and like that one. Mm -hmm. And this year it's Metroid. We'll, we'll see if I get to come back to PAX again next year and do something else. Dude, I, I seriously hope you do that. Yeah. Do you, have, do you have like an official website? Yes, yeah, my website. This is it right here. This is all my information. Okay. The website is pepperink.com, spelled P-E-P-P-E-R-I-N-K.com. And it's a blog site. I post about every show and trip I do. I post videos of all the stuff I do. I've actually started filming time-lapse recordings. Nice. So even though this entire piece is taking me 30, 25 to 30 hours, I'll make a video that will show the entire process happen in about four to five minutes. Nice. And uh, I've already posted um, these two right here. I already have time lapses on the site, the Star Wars piece and the Avengers piece, which was at uh, the Chicago C2E2 show. Nice. And I also post you know, links to my stuff, articles, uh, other events I do, other uh, there's other illustration artwork on there, my regular digital painting and sketch stuff. So, you know, there's all sorts of stuff on there. Check it out. All right, will do, definitely. I'm gonna get back to work. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Wow. I love doing it.